Good morning. It's time for your meds. Oh my God, you're watching Bridges of Madison County? I didn't think that was your type of thing. Meryl, she still gets me. After all these years, I still haven't stuffed her. Here. How do I sell my show? You need an agent. How do I get an agent? You need to sell a show. Yo, I know Little Romeo's agent. Oh, he is fucking hot. He ain't no snow. <laughs> Winter's coming. <laughs> you mean informer? I meant Jon Snow. Come on, Dwight. Game of Thrones? God, I've seen like every episode. In Afghanistan, the rulers do not allow programs that show. Uh, oh, stoning and gang rape? <laughs> we can just go outside if we wanted to watch that. I was gonna say regime change. I had an idea like Game of Thrones. It was Entourage meets Narnia called The Lying Bitch Disrobes. But that prick Piven refused to walk through an armoire. I can't blame him. Like, who'd want to walk back into the closet? Probably Kevin Spacey. Oh. That reminds me, at five o'clock, I've got to get the contents of my colon evacuated. Again. Yep. Class dismissed. Hey, y'all, anybody want to come to a writing critique group with me tonight? Oh, fuck, bro. We in the YMCA B-ball finals. We the two black Shakurs taking on the big hop smalls. We gonna Kobe the shit out of them, baby. You're gonna rape them over a chair? Yeah. <laughs> Just like Matt Lauer. How's this for a clip, Tommy? Huh? Huh? <laughs> I had no idea you actually played. And with your neck brace? What? This? Yeah. <laughs> Yo, just keeping my courts warm. <clears throat> la 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 la. Hold up. I got it from the ER when they were working on me, y'all. To get some money on the low, faking pain to get dough. This bar was always fine, ready to ball. But all I can keep down is pepto-bismol. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'll go with you. My other writers group meets at the library. They're homeless. We write script notes on toilet paper. You stay away from the Hollywood branch. That's for tricks. Oh. Good to know. All right, you better come with me, girl. All right. <laughs> Anyone else? Courtney, thanks for sharing your drama pilot. We'll go around the room for comments. And please remember, don't speak until everyone else has. Okay. This didn't seem realistic at all. Yeah, is this supposed to take place in our America or is it some kind of alternate universe? I can't imagine any college in this day and age having an incident like this. Adding black students to an online N-word. Wait, can I say the word? Uh, not no. yet. This is a safe space, go ahead. An online nigger lynching group? If you'd set the show in 1950, it'd be more realistic. It happened. Shh, this isn't Ferguson. Wait your turn. Um, is it my turn? Don't you guys remember those Oklahoma frat boys on the bus chanting that racist song? And that was in Oklahoma. Imagine what happens in the actual South. Don't you guys read the news? Yo, can I talk now? Y'all, this just happened. Not in my America. Maybe at Bob Jones University. No, at UPenn, and that's an Ivy. Is it? Why didn't I apply there? But they didn't already have too many Jewish American princesses. Self-hating Columbia. Dear, it's the least of the Ivies. Would have been perfect. I'd get in. Does UPenn even have any Negro students? Oh, my god. It says here it came from a group me account in Oklahoma. Maybe Oklahoma is the South. See, it wasn't a UPenn student. Uh, it's still fucking racist. Even if it did come from some weird Reddit app that no one's ever heard of. Could you please refrain from cursing? This is a safe space. More like a white splain zone. <laughs> what does white splain mean? I think she means white plains. It's my hometown. Oh, I've always dreamed of going there. I love Heineken. Mm. Oh, Look, feel free to bring us back your second draft after you've made it more realistic. Yeah, she'll do that. Let's go. What the fuck was that? I don't know. I'm not even black and I'm fucking pissed. I mean, I wish I were, but I'm not. Black, not pissed, I am pissed. You know what, I'm not even surprised. This kind of shit happens all the time. Oh, and to think I complain as a woman of mansplaining. 
I mean, being a black woman is way worse. Thanks. I'm sorry, you know what I mean. Are you all right? Yeah, um, I'll see you tomorrow at UBS, okay? Yo, I'm starting a writer's group. All right, so UBS isn't traumatic enough for you. Yo, I definitely in. Oh, I'm sorry, y'all aren't invited. It's called Black Writer's Lab. I need honest feedback from people who've endured experiences similar to mine. Wait, 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 what? Damn, girl. I ain't shopped at Ann Taylor Love, so I guess I ain't had your experience, huh? That's so militant. Mm. Uh, don't do that. Langston? Um, I'm pretty sure I'm busy. I would totally be there if I were black. Thank you. Mm -hmm. A black lab. No, and I'm the one with the privilege. Hetero white male contest. Description. Seeking scripts portraying white male protagonists in a positive light. Cost $50 submit to me. Hell. A hundred, they can afford it. How to write a good script in four steps. Step one, avoid stereotypes. The world is more interesting than that. Who gives the best hand jobs in LA? Is it the Kardashians? No. Surprise! The drive through girl at the Hollywood Del Taco. Two, throw in a minority. People like black women as long as they straighten their hair. And they can even work with the president. Think Kerry Washington, Michelle Obama. Three, don't write characters who are too gay because Jim J. Bullock sank too close for comfort. And even Will Truman doesn't like Jack on Will and Grace. Richard Simmons types are only good for decorating, orgies, and shopping with my bitch of a second ex-wife. Four, pander to old white men, because they control everything. And in Hollywood, pander to old white Jewish men. There's a bonus. You think Julie Chen got two CBS shows because of her talent? Hey, how'd the black lab go? We had a black lab at my high school. It's where they sent the darkies who failed chemistry. I think you're confusing it with hairspray. What? I watch it for the beauty tips. I still think Ricky Lake's gay. And I intend to prove it. No one came. I try to do something for my people and they don't even bother to show up. And we wonder why people think we're lazy. Don't get me wrong, I like the blacks. I respect their methods. I once staged a sit-in at the Pasadena NAACP until I was allowed to speak with Foxy Brown. I bet and then you... Not everything is about nailing. Very nice people, very, very accommodating. Foxy Brown, she punched me out and jacked my Miata, the bitch. Hey. I'm gonna go to the bathroom. I'm gonna go too. I think they're gonna fuck in the shitter, yo. Jessica Street? Honkies. They're gonna switch teams before they dip their toe in an inky race pool. <laughs> to dig my own grave. No, I was I was whipping out my dick. Oh. Oh, wow. It seemed unmanageably large. Don't tell Langston. Well, I was using hyperbole to communicate. Uh, anyway, listen. I got sort of angry when Courtney started her black lab, so I started my own exclusionary screenwriting contest. 
The only thing is, its exclusionarity became so racist. How racist was it? <sighs> Listen to the titles of some of the submissions I'm getting. Hitler does Warsaw. Oh God. Casa Really Blanca. Citizen Kike. Fast Food Aryan Nation. Okay. E.T. The Emigrant Terrorist. All right, Chad. The Empire Strikes Blacks. Return of the Slant Eye. Spookbusters. The Kikesicle Thief. Three Mammies and a Baby. <laughs> Uh, what's that, uh, like, uh, Mel Gibson Summer Reading List? <laughs> no, um, uh, we were, we were guessing what films Nate Parker was gonna remake next. Mm -hmm. Oh. I know. I'm so full of shit. <laughs> <laughs> you do. <laughs> oh, you're so full of shit. <laughs> Eat my cunt. Oh. Anyway, I can barely bring myself to read them, much less choose a winner. Then don't. Well, I don't think I can disqualify them based on lack of morality. I mean, I gotta give the award to one of them, or, I mean, can I get out of it legally? Well, I don't know, I'm only a half lawyer. Are, are any of those scripts decent? Decent? I mean, you, well, one's pacing is fast, the, the plot is intriguing, <laughs> the dialogue's witty, but it's so super racist that it's hard to take. Even for you? What's it called? No Country for Colored Men by uh, Strom Thurmond VII. Was it the seventh? Oh, the seventh, yeah. Welcome to Rainbow Lab. Oh. <laughs> oh, meaning all shades are included. Well, white's not a shade of the rainbow. Oh, now you're white. I guess not. Because I'm told that comes with some privileges. Oh, this oh, hold this for me. <laughs> Shit, I need some coffee. You expect me to sit through a trifling as amateur writer's Oh, Langston, you made it. Welcome to my writing group. Oh, your writer's group. Yeah, girl, I told you I'd be here. Yay! Hi, your writer's group. <laughs> well, let's do some introductions. I'm Courtney. This is Chad. This is Jessica. This is Janelle, this is Lola, this is Langston, and this... This is Bowley. Oh, Bowley. That's my nickname for him. <laughs> because the name is Strom. Fun, 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 fun fact. His great, 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 great grandfather was South Carolina Senator, now get this, Strom Thurmond. Okay. That's what I'm talking about. Guys, yes, hands are here. All right, guys, let's get started. <laughs> As you play, those once convincing eyes, your whole face recalls a Say 